Hey guys, Dusty here. Welcome to another video. I've got a quick tip for you today on how to schedule emails within Gmail. So a lot of times you may want to send an email at a certain time, whether you're a marketer or you're a business person and you want to uh, look like you send an email at a specific time. If that's the case, whatever the reasoning may be, what you need to do is go into your Gmail account, log in, go to compose and uh, go ahead and start composing a new email as you see here. Uh, and then basically what you do is go ahead and compose the email which I'm going to do right now and once you've composed the email um, you are going to see here where the send button is in the lower left hand corner you're going to see a drop down menu that says more send options now this is going to work the same way on mobile as it does desktop now you may not have access to this yet they are slowly rolling this feature out but if you do have access it'll be the drop down menu here select that go to schedule send and then basically it'll give you a box here that allows you to uh, pick a couple of predestined and times or you can pick specific dates and times by bringing up the calendar and say I want to send this out Monday first thing in the morning at a specific time so say Monday the 6th of May 2019 at 9 a.m. and then when you're ready go ahead and click the one the blue button there that says schedule send and then it will be good to go now if you want to see your scheduled emails that you have you know ready to be sent out or scheduled out on a specific time and date uh, over here in the left hand sidebar um, it, another column will come available to you that is called scheduled under scheduled you'll be able to see that actual email you'll be able to select that email also it'll say messages in scheduled will be sent at their scheduled time it'll also let you know over here on the right the exact day that that email is going to be sent and then you can do a couple of other things over here you can archive you can delete and you can do other things like you normally would within gmail hopefully this was helpful if it was go ahead and put that in the comment section below any questions that you may have and i will see you guys in the next video